Hey, my loves, welcome to another episode of the Give Them Lala podcast. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment because I love to bump gums with you. Hope you enjoy. All right, guys, welcome <laughs> to the Give Them Lala podcast with Gigi filling in for Lala Kid. Woo! Love it already. Amazing. So my practice paid off. Yes. It didn't seem like you got a lot of it, but it worked today. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was good. That was good, Gage. What's uh what's how are you feeling? How are you feeling about this? I know you have a little something to say for everyone. We have a little surprise oh, I hear. Oh, we have a huge surprise a in the huge. house. Let's give it up for <laughs> La La <Kia>. <laughs> 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 Let's give it up for we, you are a treasure. <laughs> you are. You are literally you are the best ever. I I feel like I should be walking out on like a talk show. <laughs> Let's, Let's do it. it <laughs> I, I love it. Lala, welcome back to the give to your podcast, the Give Them Lala <laughs> podcast. How are you feeling? I feel so bad because I walked in and saw producers and like didn't give them the warmest of welcomes. You did it? Well, because it just feels like I haven't been gone. Oh. And then I realized I haven't been in studio for over a month. Mm -hmm. And then I came in and gave them a warm. Hi. (laughs) (laughs) It It doesn't feel like we skipped a beat. And here I am like not pregnant anymore. Friggin' two weeks postpartum. Uh, Looking amazing, by the way. Oh, tell me more. Yes. I went to a parent mixer the other night, and the moms were so nice to me. And I was like, I don't have a man, so, like, please tell me how hot I am again. Like, this whole entire night, just tell me, you can't believe I gave birth. You know, like, all the things that, like, usually someone's partner says to them. I'm like, my mom tells me, but, like... You guys are hot bitches. Can you also <laughs> tell me? So, uh, she just got thrown under the bus. <laughs> this is a hot bitch too. She's Aww. a hot bitch too. No, no but you. She, <laughs> Lala looks amazing. She really does. She she has the bounce back. She, that was not a dig at you not being. You're a hot bitch, but you're my no. mom. Like you have to say, like you look great, sweetie. No, I don't. I don't have to say anything. That's true. That is true. She doesn't have to, but she does. <laughs> Um, you do look amazing, but your energy seems amazing. Is there a big difference between how are you feeling, how you're feeling now, two weeks postpartum with Sosa versus how you felt with O? I feel like I was wrecked with O. Really? Yeah. Mm. Because I had never given birth before. It was like such a shock to my body, even though like, yes, they say that just giving birth, like your body knows what to do. Mm -hmm. Right. But Sosa was two pounds heavier than ocean mm-hmm. at birth and two inches longer. And I feel like she, the birthing process with her and just like coming home from the hospital and recovering, like I'm kind of killing it. They give you pain meds. Um, My OB was like, how are we on a scale of one to 10? Like, are we needing heavy duty or are we needing like not much? And I was like, I mean, I'm pretty much at a one. And maybe because the hospital was keeping me pretty stable with the pain meds. But, dude, I haven't taken them at all. Mm -mm. Whereas with Ocean, I was, like, sobbing. Someone put a pain medication inside of me because my vagina feels like it's going to explode all over the walls. Really? (laughs) That's just a nice fun movie of Saw. Nice graphic picture. I know. You're welcome. You're welcome. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. No, and you know, I wasn't there for the birthing experience for Ocean in the room right when it happened. Occurred. Yeah. But I was there with uh Sosa and it was so beautiful, you guys. And was that Jess was there? <laughs> it was quite literally I, yeah, I wanna hear what you both think because I've never been in the room for a birth and it was life changing. And I'm not even saying that lightly. I was like, Oh my god, this is like miraculous. This is Life, it was the most amazing experience. It was beautiful. It like, really... I could cry right now. Cry! <laughs> <laughs> I love you. No, it was. Cry. Yes, Lise? Gigi? Gigi. I know. Golden Gigi. And not being there for Ocean's, inside the room for Ocean's birth was obviously not your choice. But no, like, I was yeah. asked by... Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Y'all, I literally hear my mom Lisa pitter-pattering all over the house at all hours of the night. But guess what? She finally has the best nighttime routine these days, and I know it is doing wonders for her sleep, finally. 
I know how difficult it can be to fall asleep and stay asleep. And of course, the thing about sleep is it's the foundation of whole body health. Getting proper sleep can increase focus, boost energy, and improve your mood. So how is Lisa achieving this? Well, more importantly, how can you? I've got three words for you. Beam's Dream Powder. It's a science-backed hot cocoa for sleep with no added sugar. My mom swears by it now. She mixes Dream into hot water. You can use milk too. She froths it up and enjoys. It comes in a bunch of different flavors like sea salt caramel. That's Lisa's favorite. Each serving is only 15 calories and zero grams of sugar. Right now, my listeners get a special discount on Beam's Dream Powder, their science-backed hot cocoa for sleep with no added sugar. If you want to try Beam's best-selling dream powder, get up to 40% off for a limited time when you go to shopbeam.com slash Lala and use my code Lala at checkout. That's shopbeam.com slash Lala and use my code Lala for up to 40% off. Better sleep has never tasted better. I asked to be induced. A lot of people, I think they kind of just let the baby run the show and they're like, this is my due date. But if I go over, like, that's the game plan. If you want to kickstart labor, I have a night nurse who's also a doula. And so Stassi and I were in constant communication. She's like, if you're done, like, call so-and-so. She'll have you go through this, that, and the other so that it'll kickstart labor. And I'm like, no, no, I don't think anyone understands. We're not kickstarting labor. We're being induced. I know how I want this to go. Like everyone has their, their birthing plan. Right. And as long as we stayed on that path where Sosa didn't come early, like we're on track for the birthing plan. You're always prepared to like have things kind of go sideways or you're veered off into a direction and you kind of just roll with it. But up until what? It it was my birthday, September 2nd. I'm like, she's still not here. I'm not feeling anything. Like, okay, the birthing plan is happening the way that it's supposed to. Sosa's a bad, uh, a little badass. She didn't want to share a birthday with me. So she came (laughs) the next day. She's September 3rd, which is so wild. I'm like, oh my gosh, my little Virgo. Back-to-back birthdays. Um, They induced me at what? 4.30 a.m.? We got there at 4. Mm -hmm. Checked you in. Got you into the room. Yep. And it was myself, obviously. Jess was there, my mom, and my sister-in-law. Yep. And just a room full of women who I love and adore as I prepare to give birth to... The love of our lives. The second love. The whole thing was, like, so perfect. No, it was was absolutely beautiful. Even the energy was very... Like, it was... Beautiful walking into the room. Like, that, everything was great. It was so calm. It was just, like, feminine energy. I was giving birth to a little girl knowing that, like, I chose to do motherhood by myself. It was wild because it was like a montage of all this stuff playing through my mind as I'm sitting there being, like, we're, we're starting the process of, like, inducing me to give birth. And it was like, oh, my gosh, the moment that... I reached out to California Cryobank, and we found the perfect donor. Like, everything just started playing through my mind, and I'm like, we're here. Like, we're freaking doing this. And then all the female nurses, it was just like a room full of fucking female forces. Yep. Yeah. Right? It was totally. Totally. so beautiful. It was so beautiful. <sighs> or, did you have any? <laughs> <laughs> no, we were all on cloud nine, but... I will say the most terrifying part was the initial IV that I, like, basically passed out with with Ocean. I did not pass out with the initial IV. I I walk in. They're like, so we're going to start you on Pitocin first. And I was like, nah, 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 nah. Hail to the nah, nah, nah. <laughs> what is Pitocin? Hell no. Nah. It kick start, No, no, it's not stupid question. at all. <laughs> it's to kickstart labor. Okay. But why would I want you to kickstart labor without turning me into Humpty Dumpty first? Without the pain meds. I was like, no, we're going to first give me the Humpty Dumpty medicine. <laughs> and you know Which what's so, called an, ep- an epidural. Yeah. And you know what's so crazy is obviously I gave birth 30 some odd years ago and they had me just lay on my side and put, you know, injected whatever they inject for the epidural. But they had her sit on the edge of the bed. It was it was so much different. We walked out of the Cheryl and I walked out of the room for that. Yeah. 
So Question. Was, yeah. Was it done the same though? If what do you that mean? Makes sense. Like you were on your side, you're on the edge of the bed, but was the procedure still the same? Just the sitting I'm sure was different. Sure, it was. I didn't see the procedure because obviously I was turned on my side when I gave birth. They shove a giant needle into yeah, your spine. In your spine. <gasps> yeah, I didn't want, and I did not want to watch hers because that's a little. Much I can't imagine why. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying. Did, did you have any, so you said with the ocean, you had, you know, the IV, you passed out. Did you have any negative experiences with this one as far as those or or no? With the epidural and the, the initial just like thing that they put in to continue giving you whatever. The IV. Right, the IV. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I'm asking because I'm like, does she want to talk about so, it? Yeah, I want to. <laughs> okay. So all is good. I don't pass out for either of the things that I thought I would. And then they come in and flip me on my back. And I have I think I talked to you guys before when I went to my final um, doctor's appointment with the anatomy doctor. He put me on my back and I was like, I'm going, I'm passing out. They, he had me turn on my side. He acted unfazed. It happened again. Except this time they were like, they had me in butterfly position, Mm -hmm. putting the catheter in, and it was too much. I was like, I'm going down. I pass out. Oh, I remember turning my head because I knew I was going to throw up and I was worried that I was going to, what's it called? Aspirate. Aspirate. Mm -hmm. So I just remember passing out, but knowing to turn my head to start vomiting. Yep. And then I come to. And it happens again, but apparently it was like oh, it, terrifying. For mm. me, it looked like you were having a seizure. Lisa like and I were. Like your eyes were just yeah. fixated and you started, your hands started shaking. And I'm like, we have a problem. We, we have, have a problem. problem. We have a we problem. Have a problem. <laughs> Something's wrong. Something's very wrong. <laughs> yeah. uh, it was actually, I do have to say, my hand w- was, sh- I've never seen anything like that. My hand was shaking. Actually, I've seen it once with Katie, but not throwing up. My hand was shaking. <laughs> And when, Lala, exorcism. <laughs> when Lala came to, my hand's shaking under, and Lala's like, did I just go out? And I'm like, yeah, but it was nothing. It was abs- It was nothing. Yeah. You're fine. I'm, like, you panicking out. inside. Yeah. I'm never going in a room to see, even my wife. All I'm seeing mm. is a Saw movie, The Conjuring, just a hellhole in that room. Okay, so, <laughs> but, so people understand, it was every time you were put on your, your back. back. It was just a feeling you had in what, like your head, your body. Did you get dizzy? Sosa must have been positioned in a way that when I was on my back, it just it made it so that I couldn't made you stay away. Yeah. It made me want to pass out. Yeah. And so I told them I was like, I have to be on my side. There's no way that I can't be on my side because I'm going to be out cold. Right. And each time I would vomit, right? I yeah. vomited both times. But it's also like sometimes the nurses and doctors, they want to walk through like we're going to like put a needle in your oh, arm God. and you'll feel a cool, you know, cool sensation, whatever the case may be. It's like enough information. Like we don't just need shove to it know. In. Some yeah, people love just, it, but you're right. Like I loved that you kept saying like, okay, yeah, she doesn't need to, and you said it too. Like she doesn't need, yeah. thank you, but she doesn't need to hear step by step. We actually, don't need to play by play. Yeah. It yeah. freaks her out a little. Yeah. And I like even the most simple thing where it's like you just explaining what the medicine does. It's like, I don't want to hear any of it. Mm-hmm. Just Mm-mm. come in. I trust you. Say, hi, how are you? Let's start talking about my nipple tattoo. <laughs> I don't give a shit what we talk about. Yeah. Right. Shove it in. I'm aware that it'll probably hurt. I know what's going on. Don't talk about it. Let's talk about how many times I had to cover up a tattoo or something. <laughs> I always go back to the tattoos. That is the first thing I start talking about, and it's always, you know, I have a heart around my nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Just something to really oh. get them, like, oh. a little thrown off. Yeah. Well, you know what? It gives me anxiety when people talk about what's going to happen next, like with me too. needles and blood mm-hmm. and all that. So yeah. So I don't want to hear about it. Yeah. But other than that, those were really, it, see, that was really, like, and those were small hiccups. But that was, like, unless I'm forgetting something, that was really the only hiccup. Yeah. We, I, w- yeah. I would say the bigger thing for me was them inducing. With Ocean, I was induced at, like, I got there at 8 a.m., and then I was hungry, so they were like, we can wait until 11. This was, I mean, do you remember recording me in the kitchen, and I was having a hard time speaking? I thought I was stroking. Yeah, I have it. Like, I could not talk. Why, though? 
Were you I think just- I was exhausted. It was like I tried to go to bed. That's well, we're not have- we're not morning people. We're not. Four <laughs> o'clock in the morning, we are not morning people. We get sick if we don't get enough rest. Yeah. Well, and, that's true. I get sick too. Yeah. Like it's not good. And Cheryl does too. Yeah, I was already feeling like I had a headache from not sleeping enough. And then I couldn't put together sentences. So the bigger thing for me was like I was concerned about not being able to have enough strength to like have a baby. Yeah. And you couldn't, I didn't know this, by the way, you just, you can't eat. You can't eat. When you, once you get the, is it, once you get the epidural, you just like, or is it you chose not to because you didn't want to be nauseous? I had like a, a uncrustable or something before, uh, I think it was like 2.30 when I woke up to start getting ready. But like but while no, you're in the I, hospital. No, I knew I couldn't eat. But they I gave you broth. That. They gave you some You could broth. have clear things. So they yeah. gave me like chicken broth, ices, mm. jello, like all of the things that I did not participate in with Ocean mm-hmm. that I did with this because I'm sitting in this room. With Ocean, I had windows in my room. This one, I'm like, I don't know what time of day it is. It felt like weird times of day, and then we'd go out in the hallway and be like, oh, my God, it's like 8 a.m., and it felt like midnight. No, yeah. <laughs> I know. It was very strange. It was weird. And I didn't want the lights on because I wanted to sleep. I'm like, there, I'm going to have to have enough strength to push out a human, and I'm worried I'm not going to be able to. Yes. That I started freaking out about that. After the passing out twice, I was like, there is a chance that I may not be able to do this, especially because every time I'm on my back, which is what I'm going to be in when I have to push her out, I'm passing out. I know. Yeah. No, that was, I think, one of my biggest concerns. Do you know how much you're paying in subscriptions every month? I think it will surprise you. I know it completely surprised me to see all of the money I was wasting on unused subscriptions. But thanks to Rocket Money, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. With Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place, and if I see something I don't want, Rocket Money can help me cancel it with just a few taps. And the Rocket Money dashboard lets me compare last month's spending to this month's, so I can clearly see and track my spending habits. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash lala. That's rocketmoney.com slash lala. Rocketmoney.com slash lala. It went by so fast. Can I tell you? It felt like the longest day ever. And then all of a sudden, they're like, you're at six centimeters. If you feel pressure in your butt, let us know. So my mom decides to go get coffee (laughs) for the hundredth time that day. No, I got a pink drink. Whatever. (laughs) You went to a coffee shop. She went to Starbucks. (laughs) Shout out Starbucks. Multiple, (laughs) multiple times. And we're still so tired. Just twice. <laughs> I twice. am exhausted. <laughs> no. What did she walk in? After I had passed out, after I had passed out hella times, my mom she has kinda- the fucking ovaries <laughs> to walk into my room and say, I am exhausted. <laughs> And then a couple times throughout, she said, Cheryl and I need to sleep. We need to sleep. We need to sleep. Here I am. Passing I'm like, out. they're they're coming in every, f- I'm passing out. I, I've got needles all over my body, including in my hoo-ha. They're coming in to change my bag, my Yum. pee bag every so often. Well, I just wanted to share with you. Let I me was, tell you something. When a woman is a laboring and then I'm being fisted every 15 minutes. I left and literally you went from a six to what? They, a ten? Oh yeah, keep telling that story. So <laughs> the, oh my god. Lisa says to my sister in law, We've got plenty of time. She's at a six. Let's oh, go no, get a we coffee. Went down and sat at the, oh, in the cafe. Sick. They she, were so we had a croissant. We had a croissant. They had, we had a snack. A pink drink. We yik yak. They were enjoying you. a beautiful day in WeHo. <laughs> and, and, your, and it was all <laughs> windows, so it was a beautiful view. Like, I was Please having the time of my go life. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> you got, okay. As you're seizing, throwing up on yourself. You know, remember, was that the I time, too? I am exhausted. Where Lisa was like, 
no, come with us. We have plenty of time. And I said, no. and I was like, I she, was like, we need one person, at least one person here. So I'll stay. You guys come well, back. Well, I was and then treating I'll Starbucks, so that's why that I thought was you so wanted sweet. to be. Yeah. <laughs> Easton. I'm watching. I'm watching Cheryl, my sister in law, and Jessica make eyes at each other. Like someone needs to stay back. And my mom could no. not have been more unfazed <laughs> by me, be, like having a baby. She's no, I she's was, like, come on, <laughs> come on. She, it's, it's gonna be treat. a while. It's my treat. <laughs> I'm trying to bribe. I know. Nobody took the bribe. It was it was probably 15 minutes. They had been they had left. Yeah. The nurse came in. She fills me goes That's when she said, "Let me know if you feel the pain in the butt right before they leave." I say, I ring the button. I'm like, "I'm feeling a little bit of pressure in my butt. It's probably nothing, but it's a little bit." Mm -hmm. She comes in. Fist me for the five hundredth time that and, day, and she when she says fist, she means fist. No, it was they're literally they're see. in there. I mean, there were times that the nurse came in and she was like, "We're not gonna break your water because I just felt her fingertips." And I'm like, "Oh, oh my no, gosh. no, literal." Fingertips. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, it's I like knew that test. she could high five me if I were to put my no, hand too 100%. high." hundred percent. And then I looked at the nurse. I'm like, "Oh my gosh, she's elbow deep." Wow, <laughs> I did not know. But and see, just, me leaving you guys. Was what good got luck. you where you were. Mom, enough out of you. <laughs> <laughs> enough so, out of you. So keep going. So the slightest no bit of pressure. Zero accountability. It, it has not changed. Never will. She's bright. 63. I've accepted her for who she Old is. Old dog. No new tricks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, no. But I love you guys. We love you. <laughs> we love you too. <laughs> Nurse comes in, says, oh, we're there. We're there. We're going to call... Um, you're Obi. And I'm like, Come excellent. <laughs> Where's my mom? I'm ready for her to come. Isn't, isn't that when I came in and told no. her I was exhausted? <laughs> I think it was either. No, no. That's when you came in with your Starbucks bag. Just walk, just trotting along. Meandering. I was meandering. 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 Yes. Chatting it up with Cheryl. And yep. I said, the baby's coming. Like, yeah. And then everyone was so excited because you have to remember, I had told my sister-in-law on multiple occasions, they're inducing me on the first. They're inducing me on the second. They're now inducing me on the the morning of the third. And Cheryl's and she, from Utah. She had to change her her flight. Her flight. And she's like, there's a chance that the baby may be born after I have to go home. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah. If baby doesn't come, I will call you your office. Not You're not leaving. Yeah. Um, we didn't have to worry about that. But everyone gets so excited because our baby's coming. I'm freaking out. They tilt the bed up. And how into the queen position? That's no, no, what no. It's called, right? it's called thrones position. Oh, throne! The, it's you so were the powerful. queen on the throne position, and it looked yeah. like a throne position. I'm not even like yeah. I'm not being sarcastic. It was sitting sick. there, ready to just. Oh my god, it was so great. She you was straight up too. You were kind of straight up. Oh, yeah. I was fully straight up. I had to hold on to the bed thing so yeah. I didn't come toppling over because you know I was still a little front heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they had me. Like with my legs like this Butterfly. and just straight up like that because they were getting the baby to drop more. So she was, when I tell you, this baby was not in the birthing canal long and she's got the head to prove that. Oh, she's beautiful head. The most gorgeous head you've ever seen in your life. It's Round, perfect. perfect. Round she's and perfect. Beautiful. She really is beautiful. She's stunning. And I'll tell you something. The nurses were like. The best. They were the best. They were the best. But they were also like. Just telling us how beautiful she was, and for hey, me, you're jumping uh, f too far hey, ahead. Oh, oh, I haven't sorry. pushed yet, she bitch. <laughs> we we're talking about her beautiful head. My so. Obi, <laughs> my Obi, who is the most fabulous Obi in the entire world. He's he got is a the, man. He's a man, a straight man. Straight man. He's got the most calming energy. I adore that man. I adore him. So good. tilts me back. Jessica started recording a video at. At 10, 11 p.m., by 10, 13 p.m., my baby angel was in the world. And you guys, I started recording before b before the first push, correct? Mm -hmm. it, I was, I have never been more shocked in my life. I thought there was going to be an hour and 30 minute long video. How? I, did, I thought you push and then it's like the head is here and then 20 minutes later the shoulders are oh, out. Oh no, you tried I to didn't <laughs> understand. But tell him about when he Well, it was in the video it got a little now, now that I know what was going on I didn't at first but during like my second to last push 
he kind of stands up really fast and he's fixated on the monitor and he's making eyes with um, the, the nurse, nurse who's reading things to him that I clearly don't understand because I'm not a doctor. And he looks nervous. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, he goes, I'm like, is everything okay? And he goes, yep, I just want you to keep pushing. We're going to keep pushing. And I was like, tell me when to go. He's like, I want you to go right now. The cord was wrapped around her neck a couple of times. And he stayed calm because I could see that something was wrong, but he didn't let me know that. She comes out. They put her on my chest. And I go to hug her, but, you know, embrace my baby. But the way that the nurse is acting with the baby and she's not crying she does one cry and then it stops and my hands are freezing. So I'm like, I'm not touching her because I don't want to like send her into shock. And I keep asking, you recorded this. I keep asking the nurse, is she okay? Is she okay? And they're like rubbing her chest, sucking things out of her mouth. Apparently for mama, it was great that she <laughs> came out so quickly because I didn't have to push very many times. But with a fast birth like that, she swallowed a lot a fluid, amniotic yep. fluid, to the point where during our stay in the hospital, they were going to discharge me the next day. But she had so much fluid that she was vomiting all the food. She had she had an appetite. Um, she was breathing okay. Like everything seemed, she had her coloring, her tummy was soft. But then the nurses come in and they're like, we're going, there was one time that I think she... She turned purple because the nurse called in a bunch of other nurses. She was freaked out. This was the next day? This was the okay. next day. She, um, they then bring in a specialist. A specialist. And they're surgeon. like, we want a surgeon to look at her because, you know, this isn't normal. And we've, we've, we got 10 milliliters of amniotic fluid out of her stomach the first time. Then we got another eight. Then we got another however many milliliters, and they go, and now we're draining it through the nose, and it won't stop. And they said, we're either going to have pediatric surgery deal with it, or we want to keep her in the NICU. And so, of course, I'm beside myself. I'm like, what the fuck? I had nothing but... And they, they come in, and they're like, what was your pregnancy like? And I'm like, it was perfect. Like, literally, it I was... I think they were just kind of perplexed for a minute. Well, that They were perplexed, but as someone who's not a doctor, and I don't know these things, I had a beautiful pregnancy. She kicked my ass. She was active. Every There were no concerns, right? Mm -hmm. There were a ton of concerns with Ocean, and Ocean went home a healthy baby. Yeah. So I'm like, what? I started feeling guilty. I'm like, what, what did I do during this pregnancy that maybe I didn't do with Ocean? Because you do kind of ease up on the second pregnancy. But I don't understand why they said, what is your pregnancy like versus, it sounds like it was the labor. If she came out so fast. Like, why does the pregnancy have anything, to, would have anything to do with that? They were perplexed. Yeah, they I were think trying they were to, thinking, you know, we've, we've pumped her stomach three times. We've put a tube, you know, down her. Nose. Like, yeah. what could and it be? what else okay. could it be? Like, okay. yeah. It didn't seem like they were trying to, like, say that I had done something because they even I started crying and they were like you did nothing wrong during pregnancy we're just we're a little confused cut to they do send me home she's fine they're not con they're not concerned anymore they're like she's just gonna have to you know get it up and spit you up. know spit it up well and didn't how the spit she up now? change colors isn't that why like yeah, it, was it was used like to be like yellow and a little it was like super brownish. claustrum -y, which is like bright yellow then it was, it had blood maroon. in it from like. Because I remember the nurse saying, the if th this still goes on, we have to keep her again. But it was easing up when I was there. I love a great deal as much as the next person, but I'm not gonna walk through fire just to save a few bucks. It has to be easy. No hoops, no BS. So when Mint Mobile said it was easy to get wireless for $15 a month with the purchase of a three month plan, I called them on it. Turns out, it really is that easy to get wireless for $15 a month. The longest part of the process will be the time you spend on hold waiting to break up with your old provider. To get started, go to mintmobile.com slash Lala. There you'll see that right now, all three-month plans are only $15 a month, including the unlimited plan. 
All plans come with high-speed data and unlimited talk and text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with you, as well as all of your existing contacts. Find out how easy it is to switch to Mint Mobile and get three months of premium wireless service for $15 a month. To get this new customer offer and your new three-month premium wireless plan for just $15 a month, go to mintmobile.com slash lala. That's mintmobile.com slash lala. Cut your wireless bill to $15 a month at mintmobile.com slash lala. $45 upfront payment required, equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Speeds slower above 40 gig on unlimited plan. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See mintmobile.com for details. Do you remember right after you gave birth, um, like a few minutes, and they kind of pulled the fluid out? Do you remember them showing you how much? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. The, out of the thing. That was that a lot. tube. The yellowish fluid <laughs> that yeah. they took out of her. It was a lot. It was a ton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I am surprised, actually, they they didn't keep her for longer. Like, that's a great I was surprised, honestly, when I was going and back and forth. I was thinking you were going to be there at least another night or two. Mm -hmm. I really did. Well, we were only supposed to stay overnight and leave, and we actually stayed two nights. But And and that was your decision. They said you could leave or stay another night, or did they say we're keeping you in? But the baby would stay, and I'm like... I'm not leaving I am not leaving my baby here while I go have a nice sleep... At home. Are you crazy? <laughs> First of all, I wouldn't have a nice sleep. But, like, I, no. Yeah. No, like, this is my cub, my baby. Right. Fuck that noise. Yeah. 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 Um, but all yeah, worked how out. how is she now? All mm-hmm. is fabulous. Okay. She's gained a pound in one week. Speaking of poundage, I <laughs> guessed the right weight. Did you? How much? Oh, we all had a little pot going. Jessica started it. Yeah. I thought Remember? it was going to be Shaquille it O'Neal. Was... Yeah. Easton said <laughs> she was going to be 8.3 pounds. 8.3 pounds. And how many inches did you say? Like 22. No. Well, that wasn't far off, though. I well, said 21 I something. Mm. Maybe, no, I said 20 point something. 20.8 20 or something. You didn't say 20 because she was 20.08. Oh, then I think I said 21. Okay. So I was you did. Close you were on close. The, okay. the length. But, but I the said length. eight pounds. No, no. Seven. I mean, no, seven. I Sorry, eight. You guys were eight pounds. I said seven pounds, eight ounces, and she was. She right was seven on. pounds, eight ounces. Oh. I, right to the money. I said 7.2, <laughs> right I think. <laughs> right to the money. What did you guess? You guessed 7.2, maybe. I think I was at 7.3, and I did um, like 21 inches, I think. Yeah. Timing wise, we were all pretty off, except Sheena was. Close or no? I think Courtney, Courtney was, was close. Close. Courtney said she was going to come at 1 a.m. And she came at 10. 10 which 10 is 13. sad that that's the closest one. I, know. I guess like. Sheena said 11 mm, Yeah, I said like 10. Oh, <laughs> maybe Sheena was closest. Oh, then closest. Sheena was closest. We yeah. had bets going. And yeah. all I know is she came out and she was, is the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen in my life. She's a pretty baby. She is a pretty baby. And I feel oh, like the hospital stunning. did not have to say that. They see a lot of babies. I just don't feel like they have to. And there were nurses that would come in and do a double take of my child and say, she is beautiful. She has these almond eyes. Like, oh, she no. is. She all, looks, but can no. I say she looks like my side of the family? <laughs> She, no, but she does. She does. She she does. Really does. I'm looking at her and I'm like, you look like my my uncle's baby <laughs> photos, my mom's baby photos. I look identical to my mom, so clearly you look like me. <laughs> and what's great so is no one can tell me she's otherwise. Stunning. <laughs> she's stunning. So clearly she is a 10 out of 10. Oh, 10 I out was of 10. Dying she of- looks, she's so stunning. She looks just like me. <laughs> She is but so beautiful. The best thing was Lauren when she was like, she was got done breastfeeding her, and I walked in the house and she goes, I hate it. I feel like I'm breastfeeding mom. <laughs> <laughs> the every time she opens her eyes, and I'm like, like ah! oh, my mother. <laughs> it's me, Gigi. mother. It is literally Gigi. That but is- can I tell you, you guys, she is so sweet. Like, I have. She doesn't make trauma a Trauma from my two little ones. <laughs> right. And like, Ocean. Yeah. yeah. Ocean they were so the colicky. <laughs> they were so colicky. And so I have postpartum trauma. Trauma from. From the way their health or looks. No, their health. <laughs> <Yeah>. being, <laughs> not being, 
Thank you, no. Jess. That made me feel no, very good. No, I have beautiful good. babies. No. I didn't from, mean for that to be a rose. being <laughs> colicky. And so okay. this baby, my fingers are so crossed. But so far, she's dream baby. I cannot stop make a just like kissing this baby. What's different between this baby and Ocean? We've spoken about this before. But I remember with Ocean, I cried a lot. But not out of sadness. But I couldn't process. It was like the first first baby. baby, And I feel like it was a kind of a heavy environment that Mm -hmm. I went home to with with this baby. That was a nightmare environment. Nightmare environment. And I I wouldn't wish it upon anybody. No. This baby is like so happy. And I feel calm. The environment, though, is calm. You guys, and you don't even know she's awake. Like, You'll you'll look at her and she's wide awake, just looking <laughs> look around. around. She's so she's even so sweet. the night nurses have said how alert she is. And you guys, she can pick her head up already. Yeah, she's not. Oh, I, let's talk about that. <laughs> I told y'all. No, let's talk about it. This baby is kicking my ass. She's headbutting my bladder. It feels like I was like, she's kicking with her heel. Like that's just what it felt like. Okay, she comes out. They lay her on my chest for the first time. She lifts her head, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> no, she and did. She, we were, yeah. I was like, oh, something was in the water. Like, she's going to be like a Spider-Man of sorts. Or <laughs> like, <laughs> truly, like a superhero, because she literally is minutes old, and she's just basically walking around the room is what it felt no, like. Th- really, though. She lifted her head like, hey, what's up? No, she was headbutting my bladder, and she does this thing with her feet where she's like... <laughs> And she's so stiff, you guys. And Lauren was she's so stiff. stiff. She's, 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 Lauren she's, she's, was so stiff as a child, like trying to change her diaper. Good luck. Can you tell the cute thing, <laughs> though, La? You said when she came out and you put her on your chest, she was literally moving the same way that she was moving. Identical. There was no difference. I was literally looking at the the little person that had been living inside of me, and she was making the exact same move movements. That she was doing in there, yeah. except now she was upright, whereas before she was down there. <laughs> and you're like, are you kidding? Can we talk about something that I know everyone's going to want to know? Yeah. Ocean first meeting her. <gasps> you guys. Talk about it. Ocean it- is the best big sister. Like, the Tell best. us, set the scene. Where were you? When did she get to meet her? All of it. I, I got to bring her. Yeah. I brought her to the hospital because I asked her, I said, do you want to meet your baby sister at the hospital? Because that can be scary for kids. Mm-hmm. Ocean does not like doctors. I said, her, do you want to wait until mom comes home? And she said she wanted to come to the hospital. So Easton brought her and she sits on the couch. We have a I'm video. Too. I we have a video. Aww. But can so I tell can you, too, too, Easton but... is the best uncle in the Thank whole you, world. Mama. too. <laughs> yes. Thank you. We're emotional. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's beautiful. Everyone's going to want to know if you are comfortable to share unless you want to keep it as a private moment. No, I think okay. I, I am able to have such an amazing podcast and able to share these things because I'm on a show that's about my life and these moments weren't captured, which, you know, I I do have my private moments, but like. You guys are all so supportive for listening to the podcast, watching shows, following me on Instagram. Like, I want you guys to be a part of this. Um, But she was so sweet and delicate, Ocean was, that when I put her on, she looks at her and she goes, she's so cute, Mom. (laughs) Look at how little she is, Mom. (laughs) And that's how the first meeting was. And then it was... Sosa, watch me do a backflip. And I'm like, go <laughs> near the baby's right, head. Right next to the baby, no, though. Right next to the baby. And she's, she's like, I'm going to take her swimming. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> We're not taking her swimming. I'm going to take She wants her to go swimming. to ball and bounce with her. Oh, yeah. Yes. She, goes, she, she wants, wants to go everywhere. She wants to go down the slide at Candyland, Mom. I'm like, she doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't even not. know where she is right now. But Sosa, I thought, was really cute because she gave her a gift. And I thought that was a really cute Sosa idea. Sosa gave Ocean a gift? Yes. That was yeah. a beautiful mm-hmm. idea. What did she give her? hospital. A baby. Oh, mm. another baby. A real, it looks like a real baby. And if you were to wake up and a light was on it in the middle of the night, you may think it's going to kill you, but a that's fine. Chucky, you may no, also it's think it's Chucky. Summer Moon. No, it's cute. It's identical <laughs> to it's Summer, summer moon. moon. No, it's uh, it's 
You no, know, the, the company doll. may have a lawsuit because they took Summer Moon and made <laughs> Summer Moon into an adult. It's like the or, el- into a baby <laughs> doll. The no, Elaine. these babies that I bought um, Lauren as a child. American. And by no, the way, it doesn't something. seem like it's going to kill you. It's the cutest baby. It just looks so It looks real. real. That if you were to wake up and see it, you'd be like, there's a baby watching me in this room. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it's I say, but it's yeah. the same brand that I bought like her a as a child. And Ocean breastfeeds it while I breastfeed Sosa. Oh. Oh, <laughs> and then she asked me the other day of. <laughs> so I asked my mom because I went to like I told you guys a, a parent mixer for Ocean School because I needed to feel like a human being. Still, I'm like I need adult interaction. I need to not be covered in spit up and having my three year old bully me at bedtime. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I just need five minutes. So I t- asked my mom. Can you please feed the baby? And Ocean looks at her and she's just, you have milk in your boobies, Gigi? <laughs> <laughs> Ocean is so freaking cute. Oh, she's so the, cute she with the baby. the best. I do have a question, though, because everyone wrote in. Mm-hmm. And remember, they warned you. They were like, she's going to act out. Just be prepared. Have you had any moments like that or pretty much pretty good? Here's what it is. Ocean is a firecracker, right? She is the ocean. She can be calm one minute. And then the next minute, we've got a rogue, wave, duck, and fucking cover wherever you possibly can. Right? Right. So I think it's less that she's acting out and more that I can't designate all my time to just her when she goes through those moments. I don't feel like she's changed. No. Mm. No. Just it's same. just more now where it's like the whole household is having to tap in. Like this morning, you should have seen me and Lise. I woke up at 6.30 to feed Ocean got in my bed. We got her off to school. Thank God for TT who drove her to school. It's my the moment the she was out of the house and Sosa was asleep, Lisa and I were passing each other on the stairs with a basket of laundry. <laughs> it's Loading like, the dishwasher. It was like, Getting, oh. Yeah. We have a minute. Life has changed a bit. Getting dressed for the day. I usually don't even get dressed anymore. You don't have time. I've nope. seen it. <laughs> in my PJs moms, all day. moms used to say, or moms, I would hear moms be like, you don't know how thankful you are to, like, just have a moment in the shower. And I used to be like, that is so dramatic. Like, what do you mean to have a moment in the shower? You have kids. Like, you can get in the shower. But from what I hear, yeah, it, that's real. I'm not even the I get my contacts real. in and I'm doing well. Yeah, I'm, uh, uh, there was a comedian and he said, when you have kids, you have no idea how much you enjoy shutting that back door and the quiet walk to your own door. Is like peace. Oh, like and when I was you're like, in your car? Wow, I never really noticed that. Yeah, like after I put Ocean in the car and I shut her door, I'm like, all right. Well, it's like a five win. Seconds of it's a win. Quietness <laughs> Guys, to this, mine. <laughs> this uh, reset. Is making but me you know rethink what? kids. No, kids rethink. are the best. No, they're the, the best. best. They're just talking all the time. No, there's nothing better. <laughs> Look at me. I'm widowed. And what would I, where would I be if I didn't have these two angels? That's true. Oh, thank God Mommy, we don't have we love you. And Lisa, you. I, I love to you say guys. thank you. You really are amazing. And I don't, we tell you all the time, but I have to let everybody else know that you really are gold. And oh, thank, thank you, you for just thank keeping you. everybody upright. I love you. You're the guys. rock. I really do. But kids are a treasure. Kids are a treasure. But well, again, if you don't want them, no judgment. <laughs> no. But it is fun. No, I have a friend that never had kids, you guys. She and her husband, they travel the countryside. Well, oh, they do live stupid. the dream. They do. <laughs> they they the never dream. have. Okay, <laughs> see, this is why it's so funny because well. every time I talk to parents, and I know that's not what this is, but they're like, you know, I don't get sleep. I am. I haven't showered in weeks. I, uh, you know, am miserable, but kids are just a treasure. And I'm like, oh my God. But that's unselfish. Every time I see people like, I don't want kids, I'm like, you are a selfish motherfucker. Really? Really? Yeah, like, I need sleep. I want to do what I want. It's like, okay. And then your kids give you these beautiful grandkids. See? See, that might be me, though, you guys. Maybe I'll be the selfish auntie because I've got so I think I will be too. I've got Ocean. (laughs) I've got Carter now. Like, I've got so many babies. I'm like, you got three kids. I yeah. got three like. kids. <laughs> and you get like the best part. Like when they act up, you don't have to deal with it. Yeah. When True. they discover their private parts, <laughs> you don't have to deal with it. I go, bye. <laughs> I grab my purse and. That's a, that's yeah. a mama say. talk. Here yeah. she is and goodbye. I say, I, whoop. I will say, if you don't want, like the women who come to me and they're like, I just don't know if I want kids. I'm like, then don't have them. You because need to know. You, it's, uh, if you, if you feel like you want kids, but you're waiting to be ready, you'll never be ready. But if you don't know, don't do it. Right. Okay. So in this, on that note, 
do you feel the, it seems you do, the one is, what do you think about the statement? One is one, two is 20. I think because I prepared myself, so many people were like saying things like that or two kids is no joke that I prepared myself for it to be really hard. And I know that those moments are going to come where it's like, this is unbearable. I think we've got a good system where we can pass. Like Lisa was at her wits end last night. I mm. could feel it. <laughs> well, she was like, she I'm gets done. home and we try to put her to bed. And she spills water all over her bed. Well, no, you got to say, she gets into her backpack for today, yeah. last night. Oh, no, it went on and on and on. And of her on. lunch for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, she was <laughs> eating. She is me. No. Uh, that, is, that is me. She you is guys, me. I am her. She got in and got the seaweed. And then all of a sudden, I hear her bawling. And she's like, I, I bit, bit my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, what? how? What are you doing that you would bite your tongue at 10 p.m.? Go to bed. No, she kept coming out. Out and then she'd come out last night. What was she saying? It's really cute because we oh, put her to bed and then we watch shows and then like the theme the song will come on and she'll cut. I'll see her sing out and she's, Mom, I really like that song. <laughs> Who sings that song? And I'm like, I'll download it and we'll listen to it on the way to school tomorrow. Go like to bed. Bad Monkey. She or no, not Bad Monkey. It was um Perfect Couple. Perfect Couple. The she theme loved song. This theme song of that. And Criminals then, uh, by <laughs> Megan Trainer. She's obsessed. She'd come out of her room like this. Oh, no. Is that why she likes the criminal thing? She's always like, you're going to jail. (laughs) You're going to jail. (laughs) You are bad. You're going to jail. I love it. Can I tell you, we put her in her jammies. She got in bed. Then she comes out in a full princess costume, (laughs) tiara, high heels, the whole nine yards, telling us she loves the song and dancing. I was telling mom, we got to take the toys out of her room. Oh, no. Because I wanted her no, bed gonna... is stacked with toys and books. There's no place for her. So then last night she spills the water all over the bed. And I think, <laughs> did you do this on purpose so you can get in my bed or your mom's bed? Or was this an She's accident? She's so smart. I wouldn't put that past her. She's no, so 100%. smart. No, she did it. No, <laughs> she spilled she, on purpose. No, she did because I know this because when I was watching her when you were in the hospital, she will grab her water and put the lid on. Yeah. She did it five, six times. So she so knows why not to put that the, night. Mm. Yeah. No, so she, she ended up sleeping with mm. me and then she trotted into her <laughs> mother's room at what, six? She trotted oh, up. six. What time was I it? I had just fed, so it was probably three. <gasps> oh, three. Okay. But three I a.m.? self, yeah. And what? she goes, Mom, you need to cuddle me. No, but no. this is what happened. Okay. You came down into my room and you tried to turn her. Mm-hmm. What do you oh, mean? God so forbid I try you. to make it so my it child doesn't you. slide off the bed. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, squamp. Her feet were like off, off the, the bed. bed. <laughs> off of Gigi's bed? Yeah, so I turned her uh-huh. vertically. And then she woke up. And put her head on what's called a pillow. <laughs> She moves a lot. And Lisa goes, well, that's why she came in. You moved her. I was like, I did. Well, either move into or sleeping she's falling position. off bed. Yes, I did. I love her so much. That's I just, so. I was just angry that you took her from me. I'm kidding. No, it was, I got it though. It, you weren't like, you weren't mad, but you were like ready for bed. It was like, we had tried to put her down for like three hours. It yeah. was like enough already. And then I'm thinking, we'll clean out the toys. But then she keeps putting on her clothes. I'm like, I'm going to have to clear out the whole closet. <laughs> <laughs> no. She's so, this is such, to me, such a good sign because she's so imaginative. Yes. She is mm-hmm. up. She's thinking. She's playing. She's not like head in the iPad up. No. I, yeah. No, she's being creative. <laughs> she is Let's being- just say this. When I went to this um, get together at her school where they had a bunch of people come in to talk about elementary school my first question was are you more academic or are you more creative because my kids are creative <laughs> yeah and I think this is going to be more academic yeah we'll, can, we'll see if can she's I, anything like if us if she's no. anything like us though she won't be academic. she will not even have an know. attention span I don't know <laughs> can I ask law because I know um some people have asked and yeah. ask Society would mm-hmm. consider you a single mom, even though I know you don't say that because you have, a, you know, the pod. G- the, pod, the pod. The pod. Do the you pod. have, are you comfortable talking about the help you have right now, if any? Yes, of course. Okay. I okay. think it's important to talk about the help that you have. And I also think it's important for moms to know that when you are at your wit's end, if you need to tap in a friend and you say, it's too much for me, I need a moment and a break to not feel guilty, even if your baby is two weeks old Mm -hmm. and it's new and you're like, how do I already need a break? 
you need a break. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's okay to ask for breaks. And it's breaks. okay to it's ask okay for It's okay to ask for help. It's, it's okay. also okay to be like, wow, I have this beautiful new baby. Why am I not happy? Mm-hmm. Put, your, put your oxygen mask on first. Y- mm-hmm. Yes, before yeah. you, helping others. Mm-hmm. If you have just given birth and you're like, why am I not connecting? Why do I not feel happy? Because you just gave birth to a human and it's a lot and there's a lot of hormones happening and chemical imbalances. It's all good. Reach out and talk to somebody about it. The help that I have, I obviously have my brother Easton. Mm -hmm. I have my mom who's a tremendous amount of help. I am fortunate enough to have been able to bring on a night nurse who takes care of Sosa three nights a week so that I can get some sleep and I only have to wake up to pump. Um, right now I have a doula that I'm fortunate enough to bring in so that I can be here and podcast with you guys. What's a doula? Like a nanny or like a, a, a infant nanny or something? A doula a is someone nurse? you, she's trained as a night nurse as well, but a doula is someone that you bring on and it's, you can bring them on from the time you get pregnant. They kind of help you through your pregnancy in this stage of motherhood and baby's life. They're their professionals on, right? Like a nanny I would bring on when my child's a little bit older. Nan- Ocean's first nanny was when she was four months. So a doula is just someone who's like really trained on the beginning stages of motherhood and baby's life. Okay. And um, your night nurse helps to sleep train. Yep, sleep train. Um, Get feeding, you sleep. Get me sleep. Washes the pump. Puts it outside my door so that I can just wake up, feed. I send her a text. Milk's ready. She grabs it. I have, again, I'm fortunate enough to have the help that I have. And that's why when I say I'm a single mom, I don't really feel great about using that because I know single moms who are working two, three jobs. and those I are don't like, know how single moms do what they do. Yeah. They're super, like, super. No, they're superheroes. Well, they really are. Yeah, mm-hmm. truly. Um, I'm, I'm a single mom in the sense that I'm a single income household, which there are many moms who do that. And that's why I think they consider me a single parent in the state of California. Mm-hmm. But I don't feel that way. Yeah. I feel like I have a lot of support. Yeah. I don't feel that way. I do have a lot of support. Yeah. No, thank you for being like open and honest with that because that is like something I definitely realized I think as a nanny too is just like, oh, interesting to see, you know, as a nanny years ago, like these certain families who get a lot of help, even the single moms and single parents versus maybe a friend of mine who just had a baby but got a divorce and like what she's, so it's, it's, Everyone's on, you know, there's a whole spectrum, mm-hmm. but thank you for talking about it. And I think yeah. postpartum depression it needs to be talked about a lot because mm-hmm. I suffered from it. And you're taking your placenta pills. Yeah. And that it, wasn't a thing when I was going through mine. No, and a lot of a lot of people wrote in and they were very anti. And this is me letting you know my experience with taking my placenta in a capsule capsule form. I have noticed it helps me tremendously. At the beginning of this pregnancy or birth, I was sobbing a lot. And I, my mom would say, she's been the one that's telling me, like, did you take your placenta pills? <laughs> here's four. Here's four. Here's four. Yesterday, but she goes, I you might need it, to take three. <laughs> no, but I lived postpartum depression. I right. know mm-hmm. firsthand. So from my it's ex- rough. I cannot even imagine. So yeah. from my experience... It has helped me a lot when I feel like my mood is plummeting and I'm kind of going, why am I feeling this way? I I get to like chill with my baby and live a beautiful life. If you're feeling depressed, I mean, I recommend you reach out to a doctor, but I would not like shit on taking your your placenta home no. and yeah. or having someone encapsulate it. My sister did not do it and she did regret it and she would be fine with me focusing or um mentioning that. Speaking of placenta though, I will mention I handled Lala's placenta I like know. a I feel, You're a rock star. No, 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 but I feel can I tell you if I were more together but I had just had the baby yeah. and I, so I was kind and of And I was exhausted. So. <laughs> no, we know. <laughs> No. But looking oh, over, wow. looking over at you do that. I after I got some sleep, I was like, 
I cannot believe I allowed Jessica to do that. What are you talking about? I felt like such a bad bitch. They were like, you. Uh, so basically <clears throat> what I understand is I don't think that the hospital can only handle your placenta to a certain extent. They can't put it in the coolers and stuff because that's for I, the company that yeah, does for, yeah, the yeah. placenta um, capsules. So the nurse was like, yeah, we can only do this. So I put the gloves on. I got the placenta out of the pan, dumped it into where it needed to be. It looked like, you know, like meat, you did guys. You see like the, a steak uh, and a sausage. Of yeah, did you see the placenta <laughs> painting? Big roast. <laughs> <laughs> and I dumped it on in. And I said, oh, there's a Dumped the it on I in. I dumped it into a cooler. And then we filled it. We put ice around it. And it was. Uh, and that got picked up. I was pretending I was in Grey's Anatomy. I was in such rem- a scene. I was like putting the gloves on, washing the Hands. It's I getting felt... rat race with the heart. <laughs> I don't even remember that scene, but yes. It's a race. <laughs> I love that Sorry. movie. Um, no, the the placenta pills are everything and I, I highly recommend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I... If you don't, sorry to interrupt, if you don't do placenta pills, is there another alternate like route you could take you can take it home and like eat it as you can turn it into are you saying for postpartum depression well yeah just for for postpartum depression i am 12 shots that's what i yeah like if you don't eat like if you disregard your placenta like that like what do like so b12 shots and then they also can put you on depression medication which i opted against because i was too afraid yeah but you said now because it was a different day and age back then you said now you would have done that right and i am saying it is not proven that the placenta pills cure or help your postpartum depression if you suffer from that i am talking about from my personal experience it has helped level me out whether that's scientifically proven or not placebo effect or I, whatever it I, is it helps so i'm saying reach out to somebody a professional if you are struggling even a friend you guys mm-hmm. like make it known i'm struggling today i need help and yep. know that it will pass yeah absolutely this too shall pass yep. yeah i am so happy that she is here and i will say already she's she's two weeks and I'm not entirely sure that I'm done. Uh. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> she told me she was done. She told when us she, she was done. I know when she brought her first, brought her home, and I said, too early to tell. Too early. You really think you could have another? I'm, I just, like, love the whole thing. Aw. Well, and she's, like, she's born to have kids. Hello. Bounce back. Yeah. The whole pregnancy, like you, you're really blessed. You really are. Well, thank you. Beyond that, I just enjoy it. They give me so much. Such a good mama too. Yeah, the they best. Give me you're, my you really are the good. No, the you best are mom. the best mom. You're beautiful at what you do. Like, kudos to you. I wish everybody yeah. could see how great you are on I, that end. Thank you. I think I'm glad that no one gets to see that part because it's so special Private. to me. Mm-hmm. I like really that. Special. I, I love. love that I that love Lala. Too. She'll have like the baby on the boob, and then she's Ocean fixing up. Ocean's hair. <laughs> like, yeah. It's it's it really, really beautiful to watch. No, I love seeing my sister in that yeah. position. It really is amazing and beautiful. Thank you. Of course. Best mama. I'm so happy. From the best mama. Uh, no, gold. you guys. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. No, I'm very proud of you, baby. We're so welcome to the world, Miss Sosa Cat. <laughs> yes. I Yay. love it. Um, should we do ache and relief? Yeah. Let's do it. You got off like pretty easy though, because you were supposed to be hosting the whole episode, and she was <laughs> she like, didn't do anything. "She's like, you got a good night's sleep. Why don't you come in and talk about the birth?" <laughs> I'm like, "All right, I'll come." Oh, um, do you want to start us off on the ache and relief? Yeah, mama? but my I don't really have any aches because I've been in such bliss with this baby. I love it. Aww. So this is the only episode that I would allow you to get away with no ache. Yeah, I, I have no aches. I just. Adore those kids that you've brought into this world. Thank you. Love them. They love the Jeej. They, they love. Oh my God. I mean, they what love if, are the you Jeej. have like the classiest, like funniest Jeej alive? <laughs> I was going to say grandma, but I'm like, no, it doesn't work with I'm you. I'm the Jeej. Yeah, the I'm Jeej. the Jeej. <laughs> I love when Ocean says, hey, Jeej. <laughs> when I go and pick her up sometimes from school when they can or Lauren's like working or something, law. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, like I'll cute. go and get her and like I wake her up in her knapsack and sometimes she'll look at me and she'll go, where mama? Where Gigi? I'm like, well, I'm here, you little shit. That <laughs> made me so happy. The other day, I surprised her and picked her up from school. 
And she didn't realize that, like, I was there because, you know, Easton's been taking her. And she sees Brock and she's a little disoriented because <laughs> she just had nap time. And so I bend down and I go, hi, baby. And she goes, mama. Oh, and she was, yes, it was like the best. Picking her up when she's in, like, in her nap time. Yeah. There's nothing better. She's yeah. so cute. I love seeing her. I, hi, goof. <laughs> <laughs> hi, goof. I love when you tell her that. Hi, goof. It is really cute. <laughs> Um, TT, what's your ache and relief? Hmm. My relief is this baby just being here and just the energy and the aura in the house and just everything. I'm very, very, I'm, I feel at home at home. It yeah. sounds weird, but like I feel great. And my ache is what I've just told you guys. I feel just very off and I don't know why. So today you feel off. Yeah, today. I feel off today and I'm hoping it's. It'll pass. It will pass, but baby. But yeah, no, I have a lot of tools that I can use. I've got an amazing family. And like I said, home feels like home. So I feel like that. My ache is just I don't feel like I should be. Not with a this hundred new baby today. And everything like that. And I got to just get over that hump. But I do want to say thank you to everybody who DMs me and sees how I'm doing with the mental issues I, you know, voiced and things. So that's just what the ache is. It's here again kind of it comes in waves so that's okay but thank you to everybody and we love you we'll be back we love you i love you guys so thanks, thank you thanks for being um honest about that too mm-hmm. and just feeling off maybe try lala's placenta pills <laughs> <laughs> i said, said that on the way here i was like <laughs> you want a placenta pill <laughs> Bro, is placebo that weird effect. i would weird? try anything i'd be like <laughs> I okay no, maybe that i'll take a weird. nap well, that's yeah. cannibalism <laughs> that is cannibalism <laughs> I'll read a book Maybe when not. I get home. <laughs> there you go. Read a sit book. You sit out in the sun and read a book. Sunshine That's walk. What I'm yeah. Into. Twenty minutes of sunshine a day, uninterrupted, yep. guys. Yes, that's what I need. But there it is. Yeah. On to you. <laughs> On to me. My ache and relief. My relief is definitely just being able to be present for baby Sosa. That was like a gift you gave me, and it was beautiful. I was so happy to have you. It was amazing. Um. And also, baby Carter being Yay. born just a few Woo. days later. I'm an auntie. How um, many days amazing. later? Two, right? He was on the fifth. Are they going to be a little I think boyfriend he was and the girlfriend? Sixth or the seventh? Okay. Yeah. Um. Possibly. We'll Definitely. see. He's a just a cutie patootie, and so that is my relief. My ache is that I haven't met him yet, but I am going home October second to the fifth, so I will be. Meeting him, <gasps> chilling with him, bringing him to jujitsu. <laughs> <laughs> so that is, I won't be bringing him. Everyone, relax. I'm not gonna be. <laughs> That's messed up, Jessica. He's a baby. He's a baby. You're Put not him in a full to... Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, he's yeah. so cute. And you sent your sister like the best of the best, mm-hmm. like postpartum. Yeah, thank you package. guys for helping out too with that. Well, you know, I just love when babies come into the mix. Yeah. I have a friend who's uh, (laughs) trying. The best. It is. It's so happy. She moves her arms once and it's for that. (laughs) The best, Jerry. It's the best. Uh, So I have, I do have an ache and I obviously have a relief. Okay. I'll do my relief first. Okay. My relief is when I was pregnant with Sosa, because it was a different pregnancy and I've been very open about this, I'm like. How will I ever love anybody, my own child even, as much as I love Ocean Kent? Like, there's no freaking way. And I had prepared myself. I had prepared myself during childbirth. I was like, she may come out, and you may have a different reaction than you're expecting. And you may have, it may take some time. And the moment she popped out, I was like, oh my gosh, I know what people mean. Like, you have more love to give. You're fully capable. You love them the exact same, but you love your kids differently, right? So that was a huge relief that when she popped out, and even now, like, I can't. I mean, I'm just like. You can't get enough of her. I can't get enough of her. Like, at night when it's just me and her, and she's on the boob, and we're just gazing at each other because that's the bonding moment, (laughs) right, for me and her. And I'm just, I'm fucking obsessed (laughs) with her, okay? So that was a huge relief. Yeah. (laughs) Um. My ache is I'm upset that we are not more progressive with the breastfeeding thing. I don't like that it's kind of something where it's it's pushed on you, breastfeeding. It's not asked in hospitals. They just say we're sending in the lactation specialist instead of saying, do you plan on breastfeeding? Are you interested? Is it something you'd like to know more about? If so... 
will send in a specialist. I wish that it were more like that. And I would think in 2024, it would be more like that. Because number one, it's extremely difficult. It can be, I've had friends where it's like, it's so isolating. I don't want to breastfeed my baby. I don't like it. It depresses me. I feel like mom should be able to make the call instead of like, they're, they've freshly just given birth and it's like, lactation specialist. It's like, well, hold on. Like, this wasn't a part of my plan. So that is my ache because it happened to your sister. It's a great ache. It did happen to her. She is now officially bottle feeding the baby. But you guys, I did. She allowed me to say on here. She went in with a plan of bottle feeding. Everyone around her knew she ended up getting, there was a lot that went on during her labor. She did end up getting a little pressured to breastfeed. She did end up trying it against a lot of our wishes against her. And she was like, this is why I had a plan. And now she's on the bottle. But yes, I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Well, can I make a statement as well? Yes. Yes. I thought it was weird because we got a second room for me to stay. Yeah. Yeah. They called it the dad's room. Yeah, that's not progressive. Like, we're in L.A. If they're calling it the dad's well, room in kinda, L.A. Right, and now they don't need, it's the primary bedroom, yeah, not the as it master. Be. Yeah. But they're still using that term in medical? Yes. And, well, like, what weird. if you had a wife? I stayed in the dad's room. It's like, hmm. what if you're a single mom or you had a wife? Yeah, yeah 100%. So anyway, just throwing that out there. Thank you, Lise. Listen um, up. That was the best, though, when I filled out the birth certificate and there was no dad information and I get a phone call. They're like, hi, we're wondering if we can come by your room to talk about um, Sosa's uh, birth certificate. And I was like, I know why they're coming. They were like, so, hon, are we just not interested in putting the dad's information? I go, I got a sperm donor. And they go, well, great. Perfect. That's all we needed to know. And I'm oh. like, thank you. You could have asked that on the phone. The dads. The, <laughs> yeah. it's, it is interesting. It's very interesting. Still, the energy of like, are we not even the question? And I know that they meant well by it and they were great. But the question even of like, do you not want to put the dad? But I can see where they're coming from because the baby just was born. All of this is going on. Who knows if the dad was like, oh, I got to fill that out. His mind was elsewhere. I can see where the, mm. the 100%. Question I was not from. offended by them coming in, but it was so nice because it was my first experience being like, no. Downer. Sorry. That's me, baby. Yeah. She's just yours, Nobody babe. We're else. So out of you. I love it. I'm so happy that I got to come in and be with you guys. We're glad you came in, too. You made my job really easy today. <laughs> That's why. Well, we know the you accountability. love that. <laughs> she didn't want it. Come. Um, well, it, this is your episode, so take us out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Lala podcast, and hope to see you back next week. <laughs> All right. That was terrible. <laughs> but we did it. <laughs> I love right. you There's guys. There's some YouTube stuff. Yeah, YouTube drops. We all know that. Wednesday, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell for that notification when we drop. There you go, Lisa. There you go. Thank you, Lisa. You did a great job. I've done it before. I think you should be the main host now. Okay. No, 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 no. I'll pass the wand. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm passing the wand. I do get it next week. <laughs> or some week. Next week. <laughs> next week. I'm the host. Perfect. Tune in, please. <laughs> I love it. You guys, I love you so much. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Give Them My Love podcast. I will catch you the next time I get a full night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much for watching another episode of the Give Them La La podcast. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Did I get all three? I'm getting really good at that. <laughs>